Hi everyone, Paul Evans Brownells here and this week we have some more new products. First up from Magpul, we have their MCT Medium Coyote Tan P Mags. These are M3 P Mags and these are the exact magazines and color configuration recently adopted by the United States Marine Corps. So if you want the exact magazine that the Marine Corps is going to be using issued uh, moving forward, uh, this is the magazine. Uh, you can purchase either the standard uh, M3, no window, uh, that's uh, provided to the Marine Corps, or the version with the window. They both have NSNs, they're both approved magazines by the U.S. Marine Corps in MCT. That's new from Magpul. Next up from Vortex Optics, we have their Strike Eagle 1-8. to uh, The 1-6 to has been out for a while now, it's very popular, and now you get 8-power uh, uh, out of this guy. Uh, so a few nice features on it. One, when I picked it up, I was kind of surprised at how light it is. For a one to eight, it's not that heavy. Um, and that's the big feature on it, going all the way up uh, to eight power on it. Uh, looking through it, uh, that one power is pretty much one power. Um, and the new reticle is changed from the one to six. It's a little bit decluttered, but still has that BDC reticle. So you can accurately engage with a 5.56 five, uh, all the way up to six or 800 yards. Um, a few other features on it, it does have illumination right here on the, the left hand side so you can easily adjust that when you're behind the rifle. Uh, turrets are covered so you have them right here so you're not going to spin them when you take them out of the case or while you're moving. Nice audible solid clicks on it um, and then it does come with these nice uh, flip caps too as well. Uh, that's the new Vortex Strike Eagle 1-8 to from Vortex Optics. And next from Primary Machine we have modified Glock slides. Uh, so this is using their UCC V3 cut. Um, and what you get with this uh, configuration is ports up here, or windows as some people call them. And they're also on the top, so you can see your barrel. This is a factory Glock slide and barrel, all modified uh, by primary machine. So if you buy an aftermarket slide that's dimpled or something like that or fluted, you'll be able to see it through those windows. Uh, it does come with an RMR cut and it does come with an RMR plate. So It'll come like this, either in black, tan, or in a battle-worn here. This is a 19, this is a 17. Both are available. Uh, and this is the battle-worn right here. You can see it's nice and subtle, not over the top. Um, they do have factory Glock sights, so you can swap those out with whatever you want or leave those in, especially if you go with an RMR. Um, but all the internal components are present, so you get the factory uh, Glock recoil spring, you get the factory barrel, and then all the internals are there as well. Really nicely done, their Cerakote finish, of course, uh, ready to go out of the box. That's new from Primary Machine. Also from Primary Machine, kind of to go along with those slides, is their uh, compensator for pistols. The nice thing about this is you don't have to have a proprietary barrel. This will go on to any half 28 uh, barrel. So it's made uh, to go on Glocks. Uh, however, it could go on any half 28 uh, pistol barrel you have. Uh, really neat installation process. You thread it on, of course, and then you have these two set screws that'll secure in place so it's not going to walk off on you. Uh, nice port on the side. You can see it's mainly on the top, though, to keep muzzle flip down. It is made out of aluminum. It's super light, so it's not going to affect uh, the operation of your gun uh, under recoil. And these cuts line up well with a primary machine slide. So when you get those cuts, they'll fit nice and flush um, and a pretty close overall contour to a Glock. It's the same width and everything, so it'll fit in holsters, uh, just like a standard Glock without a compensator on it. That's new from Primary Machine. And then next up from Silencer Co., we have the Radius. Uh, this has been on the market for a little while, but now you can get them at Brownells for $4.99. Um, few neat things about this, it is a laser rangefinder. When people first pick it up, they're like, well, where's the, uh, where do I look through it? You don't. Um, the readout is back here on this little LED screen. So you have one um, optic that shoots out your laser, the other that receives it. And to use it, you mount it on your rifle and sync it up with your rifle scope. So you use your rifle scope at 100 yards, you use this, align them both at 100, and you're good to go. All you have to do then is laser target with whatever your scope is pointed at, and you'll get the results on the LED screen. Uh, it does come with a pressure pad you can attach. It goes into that port right there. Has a really nice battery compartment right here. You just pull this up to get to the battery. Uh, to zero it, you obviously have to adjust it in some manner. It's got all external adjustments. There's windage, and here's your elevation up here on the front. You just adjust those as needed at 100 to get it lined up. 
and another nice feature on it. Uh, of course, it's gonna give you a lot of good info on the LED readout, uh, but also say if you're uh, mounting your, your radius on a top picket tape rail or maybe you wanna switch it to the side, you simply unscrew these screws right here, pop off the rear LED, and you can actually change it so the LED is actually oriented the proper way uh, on your rifle when you're looking at it. It'll give you the right readout. Really neat, there's a few other features on here, uh, a lot in a very small package, uh, a pretty unique rangefinder. That's new from Silencer Co. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.